Ukora kwe mono kuri momoyo Ukora kwe mono kuri mopfungwa Andi ziyote muno nyato pa bati sisa ni kupa uisi saere Jiko bata na nezwa tuda ukuru kura nezwa azo mzora na asinaye Tuda utaura na uye kupfeka kwa tino ita sema zimai Does dressing make us a woman? That's the topic at hand, and we're getting into what we call we need to talk. I did say that. There's a Latin proverb that reads that people are judged based on the clothing that they wear and are treated <coughs> accordingly. And it also seems that the gender that is harshly judged is a woman. But the question is, do clothes really make us a woman? Are there churches that forbid women from wearing my trousers, wearing makeup, wearing jewelry? Is this taken from the Bible or taken out of context? This is the issue that we want to dig into uh, this lovely Monday afternoon. And uh, I have... Uh, Two guests in studio and um, another one online. We have Pastor Lloyd Chinamasa and uh, Pastor Trust Manda. Pastor Chinamasa, good afternoon and welcome to Capital 100.4 FM. Good afternoon, Grandma. Thank you kindly. We also have Pastor Trust Manda joining us for this conversation. Pastor Manda, I swear I say good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon, Glenda. Uh, thanks for inviting us and also um, thank you, uh, listeners. All right, on the line with me, I have Alice Taguira. She is a women's rights activist, and she joins us uh, this lovely Monday afternoon. Um, Alice, good afternoon, and thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Glenda. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to have you on the show. Uh, so let's get uh, straight into the issue at hand. Uh, but before we even get to that, I remember at one time uh, I visited a certain family, and uh, upon my visit, and upon that visit, one of the children said to the mother, Mama, and the mother just went numb. Uh, but uh, before that, Takapura ni pamsika. Takapura ni pamsika. Papa ni a certain woman agashitengisa also agashitengisa. Uh, who I assumed Kutish was also a Mzimaya Pindo Church na Mai Vandanga Ndina wa Msu Oyo. And Ndoba ataura Kutish na ko iinde ipi. Nandaka pika trous. Announce with saa angu Kutish wa pane connection trapo. And she chuckled saying, iya mayamurume. I found it quite disturbing. But regeti veta tanga ni emi e pasta. E, Pastor Chinamasa, Muba Mandi Batira e Papo, Tindi, we said to so called not each Takatasa now, ye, Zipeko, Takatasa Mazemai. What does the Bible say? Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Glenda. Uh, a Bible question must have a Bible answer, and uh, it's good you have highlighted there what does the Bible say? Shoko, Rinoti Kudeni, Panyae Matfekero, E Mazemai. We can answer that directly by the Bible if we will go to the book of Deuteronomy uh, chapter 22 verse 5 the Bible says uh, a woman shall not wear a garment that pertaineth to a man and a man also must not wear that garment which pertaineth to a woman that's, that's, that's one then also we go to First Timothy chapter 2 verse 9 there where it speaks about modesty that women must adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and so bright not with braided hair or so forth. But since today we are just talking about dressing alone, uh, it's answered by the Bible, not by the emotions of the people, not by the feelings of the people, not by the church, but by the Bible. All right, and that's what I'll catch my feelings. As to the I would show you what it could be. As in the dogs, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Can dressing affect? one's Christian life? Does it affect someone's relationship with God? 
nekuti ndoona senge e, pamweni e, tinogona tiri kuibata out of context ndibatsire kuhisisa pamwe ndindi tiri kuona zvangu maonero amunoita e, ndo pamchabatira ipapo can I, the way i dress affect my christian life does it affect my relationship with god ndawopfeka e, that which resembles a man zvogo zvogo thanks that's a good question glenda uh, if we open in the book of John chapter 14 verse 15 the Bible says if you love me keep my commandments that's the relationship with God if we profess that we are Christians and we must remember this is the address to the Christians to someone who have decided to be a Christian now when we come to Christ when we become Christians they are commandments uh, we have to obey them and we go by the book which is the Bible mm. All right, so let me come to you, Alice. Your thoughts on it. Can dressing affect one's Christian life? Your thoughts on it. And uh, do you think uh, uh, there's a little bit of ex- extremism uh, around the way women dress? What are your thoughts around it? Chiktanga, uh, for me, it's going to be difficult because I'm dealing with pastors here. But <laughs> then... <laughs> But then the truth that I I know about the Bible is that God cares much about uh, your heart as a Christian. And uh, what I think and uh, what I'm convinced about dressing and uh, uh, being a Christian, he Christian is very personal. Very personal. It, it, it doesn't matter the way you dress up. It doesn't matter how people view your dressing or what. Christianity is very personal. As long as I have a relationship with God, then I'm good to go. The rest is a good one. Not only that, you know, the positive judgmental at the end of the day. You start judging each other, which is not acceptable in the Bible. But my point on your question is, Christianity is very personal. Alessar Gutaura Gutishona, Christianity is very personal. As Kumbuni Kizana, Rekana Chiti, Mzimaya Fango Peka Shakat, and then the dog would talk up and now we could see and get at our one, Oliver Chukutia, Kutikora Kemon, Kurumomoy, Kurumo Fungwa, Zinondozo, Vando, Bunza, Kuti, Jona, Zonda Peka, Dres, No Shikauk, Asi, Zandino Taura, and Zandino Eater, Azi and the Ran in a good interim Christ. Pastor, Chinamas. Oh, great. Uh, I, I, I said before. A Bible question must have a Bible answer. The Bible says, Let every man's word be a lie, and mine be the truth. Shinamasa might have his own views and might have his word, but the Bible says, Let every man's word be a lie, and God's word be the truth. Now, coming back to Sister Alice. Alice, good afternoon. Welcome, and thank you for your contribution. Yes. So coming back to, to what Ali said, um, if we look at the word of God here, because we want to stick on the word, as I said also, that if we go by emotions, if we go by feelings, if we go by people's views, then we are off the track completely. Uh, to define Christianity, the Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was with God. Sakapakutanga. Kwanga kusina fungwa zedu kwa kakuina kwenye shokura mwari, riri mwari, riri kuna mwari. Saka, tika kwanisa kudefina kutichi kristo chi, then tino kwanisa kubatsirika na along the way. Or upon the judgment thing, you have said something well that if we, uh, if we say or preach in a certain way, we end up judging. Remember, we are dealing with Christians here. We are dealing with people that have decided to be Christians. And the rest, they are outside of this bracket. Now, to the Christians, the Bible says in the book of Peter, First Peter chapter 4, verse 17, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. We are talking about things that belong to the house of God. We are talking about Christianity and relationship with God, who is also the author and finisher of our faith. 
saka kana tichiti tirikuda mwari tichida kumufadza akatipa mirau ya tinofana kutea alright at least not about the judging is is okay in church because nekuti judgment yaka wanda ukereke uh, pastor china masa jimwe sabutu weta kutinga wano e mwari adiere kuti wano wawe kwa wari e, despite kutisho wakadi avasi erewa kutinga wano kereke ne ne tuma e, judgment chino itika good glenda your, your questions are very interesting and they are bible questions you know jesus said my sheep hear my voice Saka and the Bible also let me quote again for you first John chapter 5 verse 3 for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous mm. Do you hear that friends We are listening okay. we are following <laughs> Yes <laughs> <laughs> because tukutaura pamsoro pe hukama we mu Kristo na mwari kwete munhu asiri mu Kristo Jinga rwadze munhu asiri mu Kristo uye asiri kuda kuita mu Kristo because there's a, always an entry point for everything you want to become a Christian you are, you are given an entry point now the entry point here is to keep the commandments of the Lord you hear the word you hear the truth Jesus said by uh, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so you want a preacher who tells you the truth and what is that truth is the word of God Jesus says sanctify them by thy word and thy word is the truth. Mhm. Alice I'll allow you to jump in because ndoda kudzoka pane nawo yanambotsaura eh yangaita taura wana samanyanga. But Alice let me allow you to 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 jump in here. Uh, I want to go to take pastor back to the point he raised the kuti they are allowed to judge in church. What I think Pastor, mm. when we go to church, our goal, the kuti panodzoka Jesu paya. Tinge Jesu enda nai, azizi zvede. Jesu so, but what do you no use? Chatiri kushandira mweya yedu. Mhm. Uh-huh. And tiri kuda kuti ti win that that uh, what do I call it? All right. What we want to win here is the heart. That's number one. Number two, not for you not to be judged. Ke chitatu ndeshe kuti Bible renyiro you can use it in whichever way. Kana muchida kupusha ife mukada kupusha na we slavery. It's biblical. Mukada kupusha na we politics that whatever you want to push. Munongotsvaga engwe nyaya munoda cheti moto kupusha na izvo. So what what I'm saying is judging is not proper and using scripture to suit your own interests nema doctrines any self-made doctrine as you shandu zino uraya lani zino uraya mwea ya tisi kuda kudilana chomwe uwe munu kuti jesu pano zoka tiende nai i hear you alice yeah can i hold you can i hold you a second alice yes you said when we go to church tilikuda kuti jesu pano uya tiende nai What do we use at church? Can you answer me there? What do we use as in? Tend up church. Chicha tinoshandisa. As a basis. Kuti chiti patsire kuti Jesu pa ano uya tisarasikirwe naye timuone ati tore tiende naye tinoshandisei. Tikushandisa soko rao. Tikushandisa soko rao. Riri kuti kuti pa kupfeka kwedu. Ase I want you to quote it not me. Rino ti kudita ati tiri kushandisa shoko kuti tigadzire moyo yedu tigadzire kupenyu wedu shoko racho iroro rino ti kudi because shoko ah. rine zvese in every subject of our lives kuti tisangane nayo yangu ino affecta moyo wangu pachii ino shibisa moyo wangu pachii eh ine ndo vanda da kupinda ipapo alese pa, pa ndichibatana nenawo yako which we often hear kuti kuna mata moyo wako Uh, can you help us 
appreciate this in relation to dressing. Ibabo pastor tinamas eh and this yego tis when e pastor man da wadaw pindira wangati bad tirai and this yeah but one of you has to answer us on this one here. Yes. Before I hand over to Pastor Manda, I want you to answer me. You have a question I'm Satamani Pindura. Kuti shoko pamaka mbori werenga imimi richitaura about dressing. Rakat kudini. Because shoko rino taura pamu chato. Shoko rino taura about hutano. Shoko rino taura about mararamiro edu. It's not only about dressing. Ya tiri kutakuti ino ita kutimuna awe mkristo. It's one subject that we are talking about only today. But we have to take the entire word. Good. Imenu chimbondi wele ngerai wa vesi red dressing. Mega imimi. That's what I want. And I've read you two of them. Imimi. Because kanamar wara you search in the Bible where it says, by my stripes, by his stripes I'm healed. You search in the Bible. Pane vano rwara ire, pane vano tambuzika ire, ngava namate, pane vano fara ire, ngava imbenziyo, pane vano rwara ire, ngava yende kuwakuru wekereke. You'll be dealing with healing. Now we are dealing about dressing. Makambo chaga were, as an individual, ndino fana kupeka sei semunu rume, lofana kupeka sei semunu kazi. Yes. Now God is His own interpreter, and it's not in the interpreter. That's why I'm saying, read your own Bible to me today about your dressing. You must have a verse because it's there in the Bible. As much as you have a verse for your healing, as much as you have a verse for your salvation, when you can do very often. Let's go back to the book. You are very confused. Because you cannot be preaching different messages. Right. It's because Hans and Alice were fundis very confused. That's I may agree with you, some of them. But one thing which is not confused is the Bible. And God interprets himself. Remember, you have a question that you haven't answered. Read for me. You have a scripture. Can you read for me a scripture or quote for me about your healing? Where do you get your healing from the Bible, Alice? <laughs> you have laughed. Where do you get your healing, Alice? Where do you get your blessings from the same Bible? If you can answer me, let's talk about just this healing. Have you ever claimed healing from your Bible? Yeah. What verse? I'm not a sense of Okay, I'll As give you... No, no, yeah, yes. okay. It's in Isaiah. I've quoted 53. By his tribe, he starts by who has believed our report. To him is the arm of the Lord revealed. I unoda ere pastor to interpret you that kuti ukleme kupozwa kwa kuti ne mawanga ake takapozwa mfundi simuka wona tsana nguro dzenyu a a apa ndi sindi kana ngandati ndiyo muda kuomesera mirai regaiti regaiti ndwe kuvatserere 0719100404 do join the conversation does dressing make it a woman someone says i like the topic i just have a simple answer especially concerning our christian life um and we can never change God's commands or law zeko zeko zero mafungiro ne maitiro edu musaisa bible pa code zero musachinje bible i agree na pastor a bible question and a bible answer not mafungiro edu but without taking any side i like how pastor chinamasa supports his points with the scripture hanzi nasi glenda hanzi zwai wana ngwarati hanzi thank you pasa sadar hanzi pasa china masa telling the truth christianity is not about the heart only but works to joel tafadza bible says ne mumwe tisa tonga kuti tire gere kutonga i think kana dressing ne munu isinga iti unobatsira munu pachi kristu ndo muone sa iyo ona o pari wrong mune zakanaka zwe kuti iye oga anonzwa kuti mwari va kutaura nini apana ari kundi jaja mwati glenda kuna mata kuterera 
not moyo wako those pastors are correct so it's 22 minutes before three o'clock we are in a segment that we call we need to talk and on the line with us here uh, we have Pastor Loich Namasa and Pastor Trust Manda. We also have Alice Tagwira, a women's activist, and we're talking about this very important topic: Does dressing maketh a woman? Um, so yeah, uh, do get in touch with us on zero seven one nine one hundred four zero four. Alice, um, you want to jump in? Yeah, I wanted I wanted to say good to. Pavano build a mad doctrine to church. Uh, Pamapacho Avato build the word of God. They use their own interest. Pane my interest are to fulfill. But at least in my interest, ma are Gamu Gamu Wani Kweo Musingam Puniki Ziko Zero Zevan. You are right, Alice. But in my conversation so far, have you ever seen personal interest? As I hand you over to Pastor Manda, I give him the chance. Yeah, my personal interest, Pastor Manda. Uh, but as well, pane na uye yema rights rukuramba iti budi kira panap e kumbuni kids kwa. And uh, Alice, I want to come back to you, pane na uye kutanza. Women are denying their femininity by dressing in what resembles men. I want to hear your thoughts on that one as well. But uh, Pastor Manda, mama kati nyara re tu dokumbira why are men not judged as well as well and no one has thinking about the mind to see why are men not judged as well is that to me thanks Glenda well I've been listening with such uh, eagerness uh, and thanks to my friend uh, Pastor Shinama and also to Alice who seems to be very fine in terms of her spirit. I like her. I haven't met her, but I think she's a good lady uh, because she's not argumentative, but she is also sharing her opinion. In fact, um, uh, maybe just for me to come back a little bit to what has been said to, uh, hitherto. Uh, uh, they say dress for address. That's what other people say, dress for address. If you are going to be uh, playing for Dynamos, I think you wear uh, the uniform for Dynamos. If it's for caps, it's for caps. If you are a witch doctor, I think there's some clothes you wear so that you enter into your, uh, uh, into your work. So you dress for a dress. In the Bible, there was a woman called Tamar. Tamar uh, was a widow uh, in, her, in her garments of being a widow. She could not attract any, any passerby, a man who would have wanted to, to, to be with her. But she removed her clothes to, be a, a, to look like a harlot, a prostitute. And that is what attracted Judah. So when she was wearing clothes of a, of a widow, she was not attractive to men in that regard. But she removed the clothes of a widow and then she wore garments of a, of a prostitute. That is what attracted the men to her. And the Bible also, if you read Proverbs 7 verse 10, it says, There met him a woman with a tire of an halot. In other words, there is an tire of an halot. We may argue over what an attire of a halot is, but if we are still sober and in our good senses, we know what uh, halots do in order to attract. So the Bible is clear about dressing. In the first place, when they sinned, uh, Adam and Eve, in the Garden of Eden, they wore fig leaves. Those were see-throughs. And I think the sun uh, 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 scorched the, the, the leaves until they were almost naked. And God had to bring something durable to cover them up. So dressing has to do with your stand. In fact, this thing of saying kunamatamoyo wako is, is correct, kunamatamoyo. But the Bible says, out of the heart, speak at the mouth. In other words, you express outwardly what is in, inward. You do what is in your heart. The Bible says, a good tree produces good fruits. Pastor. Yes. That's right. I was going to come to that because your question is does dressing make a, 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 a woman? I am going to say yes, I am going to say no. So my answer is twofold. Dressing does not make a woman, but dressing, if you're a good woman, it, it becomes part and parcel of you. The Bible says in First Peter 3, uh, verse 3 to 5, it talks about adorning. It says, let the women adorn themselves, not only outward adornment, but also inwardly. Uh, not just the outward adorning, but inward. 
inward in what way it says it must be a hidden person of the heart that which is not corruptible even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit so you may wear a very very long dress and you cover every portion of your body and still not be a christian but yet if you are a christian you cover your body so th there's no exception if you're a christian you cover your body but if you are not a christian you may still cover your body and not be a christian the bible here is saying it must not just be the outward adornment but it must also be inward so christianity is not necessarily based on clothing otherwise if it was based on clothing jesus was going to leave us with a pattern of dress he didn't he left us the blood so the blood is what cleanses all men whether you wear a long dress or a long uh, or a short dress the blood cleanses you wearing a long dress doesn't take you to heaven a mini skirt or no clothes at all doesn't get you to hell god will save your soul but at the end of the day if you are saved as a good fruit tree you produce good fruits that's what the bible says and it says the fruits of the spirit are these they are enumerated in the bible so you can't say so dressing doesn't make a christian but christians wear good dresses uh, even men as well. We're not talking about women only. Because, still, because like I'm saying, when Adam and Eve were wearing a, a fig leaves, God did not just dress Eve. He dressed both of them. So uh, uh, men also have to be, you can't be moving around Uri in a semi-nude uh, state and then you say could you are a man of God or you are, you, are, you are decent. Even morality itself, morals themselves don't allow you to be to be something else, even without being a Christian. So morality it, it, itself demands of us to act in a moral way, even without being Christians. Which is why I'm saying being a Christian does not, it, you are not made a woman by clothing, but a good woman obviously will also clothe well. Hey. Uh, uh, okay, I'll ask you, Alice, just to come in for a few minutes. I need to take an ad break. Your thoughts quickly? All right. Take time from what Pastor was saying. Old Testament, and I mean, I believe that we are in the in the era of grace, and uh, in the era of grace, there is no condemnation whatsoever. That's number one. Number two, and the kuni and the dressing ye ema halot. in this context. That's not the point. What they meant is mm. Then when it comes to Mahalots, Vanem Yembi type ye yembi. This is what I think those women sort of may you but as is the visual I see your context here too. In your type you yum. All right. Alice uh, Regandi to take a bit of an ad break. It's not Zoga Ipapo. It's four ten minutes before three o'clock. If you just joined us, we're in a segment that we call we need to talk and on the line with us uh, is Alice Tagwira. She's a women's rights activist. We also have Pastor Lloyd Chinamasa. Pastor Trustman, they're also joining us for this discussion. Does dressing make it a woman? I will get into some of your messages in just a bit. Life never stops, so you can't afford to stop. That's why you need a mahel unlike other mahels. Start your day with new Addis Sumba mahel. It's the same great maize taste you love. Now with the fresh new look of Addis. No matter where you're going, make sure you get there nourished, energized, and ready to own the day. New Addis Sumba Maheo, the seed to succeed. It's 13 minutes before 3 o'clock, and uh, we are still in a segment that we call We Need to Talk. Uh, I'll ask Pastor Chinamasa to quickly come in, uh, maybe Mucho Responda, Kuna, Alice, and then we'll quickly jump into the inbox because we have so many messages that are coming in here. Tiwe, Kuti, Wanwaru, Tupudi. 
Amen. Maybe Pastor Mando, because he has just uh, said something there that Alice uh, rose a question, raised a question. Okay. Uh, okay, fine. Um, Alice, I like Alice. I, I've, said, I, I've not met Alice, but I think I want to meet Alice. She's uh, she's sounding good all the time. Like, is so what I'm saying not, is not not our 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 pay of line, <laughs> but, <laughs> but our sister's pay of line. Yeah. Well, in fact, she said those scriptures are in the Old Testament, which is fine. But in Timothy two, the Bible says in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. I think we don't need to debate the meanings of words here. To be modest is is to be modest is to be moderate is to be is to be uh, um, is to be acceptable is to be reasonable is to be very very temperate in your in your in your outlook. The Bible is saying to dress in modest apparel with shamefacedness, and it actually now explains what it is now with shamefacedness. In other words, you are somebody who is easy to 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 uh, 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 you, you you are somebody who is very you are coy, you are timid, you are shy in the sense of how you, you, you appear to people. In, in sobriety, you are sober. You, 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 uh, so the Bible is saying modest apparel with shamefacedness. In other words, you have to be wearing something that shows that you are modest in your appearance. So that's what the Bible is saying. The issue about, yes, a, a, the clothing of a halot. The Bible is clear. It says that was wearing the attire of a halot. Uh, well, you may want to say this type of royal clothing, this type of uh, uh, attire is for halos, but this woman was wearing a widow's clothes, and then she changed into a halos clothes in order to attract Judah. So there is some clothes that people wear. Go to the avenues there and see what they wear, and those are the clothes that we see now on the roads, on the streets, people wearing those night dresses on the road. I don't believe that we can debate modesty at all. Uh, modest is modest. Modest is modest. All right, mm. let me just quickly jump into the inbox. Messages are coming in. And the pastor, very right, because my corner, Jimmy, is a group fake one. That's my so, um, Sakaoma, um, skin tight, Chayo, Trukwa, or Nakama fake as Gusham Sakutimun Uyu, Atanga Funga Yere, Asat Abuda Mumbazim, which was one of my praise and worship teams. I must come out and away that's good. But anyway, and the name of my regard and the no no case young co appointment young and the body. Mwaz and I know made a mushe a conversation in was and the Kumono and on a matter Maria Kuna Kuzero the Moyo Kunze Kuterra Shoko Zare no Taura. Someone says thank you so much for that program here. And I think each dressing has its own occasion. I remember a friend of mine once invited me to his church and the pastor started preaching that. How can you wear slippers to church? My friend was the one who wore slippers. So I think it's dressing as its own occasion. It's a my pet side Chimbangu in Isli. And the the mum we dressing in is why you know it's a pama fungire mono, especially in Sutrugu Tevete. As I think I'm saying, it's a true fake at Tiwonekwe, Kuti Takabatana. Revelations five verse three to four. The Bible requires research and understanding. Judas is carried of today is within the church. This is six seven five coming through with that contribution. Timothy one verse eight to fifteen. You know, tell us aganaka. So we find it a quite a wakazi sister. Our anzi wakawana nguwa inganzi ngawa mbuvenga that verse. You know, about us aganya anya and the body choice mutete. Co Highlands coming through with that one there. Uh, anzi pastor varikujala abo. And this young Kujala and don't to say, but it's a mind no Kubaba. Kujala, Kutau, Varuya, Soro, and Nemone Mochem. A note of Bavaroa Mogo, Kujala, Mujalo. But anyway, so those are some of the thoughts that are coming in. Pastor Chim Namasa, um, maybe you can come in here. Okay. Yeah. Saka so, uh, Alice and uh, the audience, never uh, terrible. If we stick to the Bible, Ukama Weduna Mari. Uno and Ramberi. Dambuziko, Pane Point Yambo Raiswa, Yabuti wa fundis, very confused Uye, Varukura Savano. The reason why Vafundis wa Chira Savano, Wanunga wa Abdi Sapa Shokuramari. Tinoda Vafundis were not Zosera back to the Word of God. And the Word of God is not of no private interpretation. God is His own interpreter. Mm. Yes, if I take you away from the Bible, if I say uh, immoral, right, but we have to come back to the Bible. That's why the Bible says 
For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Pamambo tipa pa tika tino tika pari zati daro tima zinga vanu mucheji. The Bible says they went out of us because they were not of us. Jesus said, "My sheep hear my voice." Akuna mu Kristo ano offend wana shokora mari. Akuna mu Kristo ano offend wana mari. Uye mari ishoko. And the human rights they are made for humans by humans can amuno ada zamari or ita zamari. I mean I'm a Rastafarian but in the Zuda cause Chirasta and Doch and Ziva Chirimoyo. Lastly being a Christian kutenda saka kuno batsire kutenda kusina mabasa plus sister Bible e Bible ku old testament kwakanzi usauraya ku old e game continue akuna mtemo wakachindwa msanyepe. Ah, so many messages that are coming in. Alice, um, maybe your parting shorts. Uh, I wanted you to answer something. Uh, yeah, we are part of our water platform. Yedu Panapa, as you see, as in line with the Bible. But they say women are denying their femininity by dressing what resembles men. What are your thoughts on that one? Just to fashion. That's my answer to that. Uh, sorry, I lost you a little bit. Uh, what's what's your answer? I said it's not denying femininity; it's just fashion. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's my answer. To that and uh, my pattern showed. Uh, I, I'm not saying that everyone is judgmental, but in a handful of people, especially from church, mm. in our fundies, they are very judgmental, and uh, that's the harsh truth. There's so much uh, more to a person than what they were. You may not like uh, the way uh, a person dresses, but could love their personality. Okay. As a society in general, we need to look more for, for the good in people, not the bad. Right. Alice, thank you for that contribution. I agree with you. I may agree with you on that. We must not be harsh and judgmental. Let me give an example of the woman at the well. The Bible says she, she had lived with five husbands. But look, she didn't deny it when she was told that. But she was saved when other, maybe those people that we could call men of God were busy cursing the very Christ they claimed to save. So what we should do here is to preach the truth to the people. It's casting the net into the sea. Saka wowe no buddha ziri wowe. Maskavenja, anubudar maskavenja, matachka, anubudar matachka. The Bible speaks about dressing that women should dress modest. That's a <laughs> point. Should <laughs> be. <laughs> if, we, if we move with time now, let's stick to the word of God. Because at this point, we are Bible is not. Listen, yeah, yes, at this point, we are Because everything will pass away, heaven and earth will pass away. And God's word is internal. So, Trukuto Fambira na Nemguwa, because Shukura Mwari, Riri Muzienda Nekuenda. Saka, we are right on time when we preach modest. I have to shut it down. Thank you so much, Alice, for being part of the conversation. Hopefully, we'll be able to have you in studio. Because Pane Junza Gonda Jabudi Kira. Saka Tasa na Uyema Raiti Oyu. But, yeah, it was an interesting one. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Also, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much to a Pastor Lloyd Shinamasa. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Glenda. And uh, Pastor Trust, Amanda, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. We are saved by grace through faith. But when grace is abundant, the works of grace will be abundant in our lives. And God bless you. Thank you so much. We have to have you back in studio because when you're gone, there's a lot of things that you can do. We'll be glad to come back. That being said, my time is up. It has been absolutely amazing hanging out with you. I'm back on the station tomorrow between 12 and 6.